Hi, this is Leanna Complete Payroll. Welcome to Payroll Country. Today we're going to take a look at how we complete the setup of a new employee in TimeWorks Plus. TimeWorks Plus is integrated with our Evolution Payroll softwares. So all employees who are being paid through Evolution should be entered into that software first before they are um, updated in TimeWorks Plus. There is an interface that runs daily every 90 minutes and so once you've entered in an employee into Evolution either through your downloaded version or the web version the employee information will populate into your timekeeping system and then you can go in and make the additional updates as needed. So we're going to start in TimeWorks Plus from our dashboard and select Employee Setup in the main menu. You may notice there is an Add New Employee button here under the main menu on the left-hand side, but remember, our employees are being added through the interface between Evolution and the timekeeping system. So you don't want to use that function or you'll risk duplicate records or data sync issues. So here under Employee Setup, we see the list of all active employees and I can select the employee that I have recently added in Evolution so that I can update their record here in TimeWorks Plus to ensure that they are configured correctly for timekeeping and import into the payroll system. So I'll go ahead and select my employee by clicking once on their name to open up the employee detail. The following fields are linked to the payroll data and will populate automatically from our interface. They are the employee code, the first name, last name, start date, separation date, and department. Once the employee is showing active here in TimeWorks Plus, additional fields may be required to set up. You will need a login or number for this employee, and then you may enter in an employee type or supervisor, and in some circumstances, home one, two, or three fields, or perhaps even the title field. If you're unsure of the correct configuration for your new employee setup, you can refer to a similar employee already in TimeWorks Plus set up during transition or the payroll notes in Evolution that will direct you to the fields that are required for completing a new employee setup in TimeWorks Plus. And finally, all of these items are covered during your complimentary training, which is offered to all new users. So here on the employee setup page, there are three areas that we can edit. We're going to begin by taking a look at the identity area and the edit fields. When I click on the edit button, it allows me to populate or change the existing information. Here, the only information that I'll want to change is if I have an employee that I do not want to import any time from the time clock into payroll, I will change this export blocked to blocked instead of the not blocked. If the employee should have their web clock enabled, this should say yes. If we're working with a schedule that needs to be enforced, we could select Enforce. Also, if you want this employee to be able to be mobile punch enabled or mobile enabled where they can view their employee self-serve through the mobile app, we can make selections here in these windows. Once I've changed the information as I need for this employee, I'll click on the Save and Remain button. The next area that we're going to take a look at is identifiers for punching the clock. This is where we're going to enter in the login for the employee. I'll start by clicking on the edit button. The first login that I want to enter is the username for the employee to access the employee self-serve portal through the website and also if they're going to be clocking in and out through the web then you'll need this username as well. Our standard username is the company ID followed by the employee's first initial and then their last name. If the employee will be punching a physical clock, then you'll want to enter in the desired time clock pin or badge number here in the next field. And then I can go ahead and click on save and remain. To edit or add a password, I click on the edit button again, and I'll click on the set reset password button. To enter any additional employee data that is required, we're going to click on the edit button. And here we'll enter in the employee type, and it may be full-time, part-time, or salaries for this employee. We'll go ahead and just type in salary. You'll notice there's an effective date window 
telling me that it is effective today. I want to be mindful in this area of the effective dating. So if this should go back to a previous pay period or another date, I have this drop down window. I'm going to go ahead and just make this effective the last pay period. I can enter the title if needed. As you can see, the department is currently there and we mentioned that we need to enter in supervisor. Now in the supervisor field, you do want to make sure that the spelling is correct as it needs to match exactly for filtering functionality to work. Again, I'll enter in the effective date in the effective date window. And then if I'm using home one, two, or three, or any other areas, I can populate those as needed. And then I'll just click on either save and remain to stay on this page, or if I'm done with this employee, I'll click on save and exit, which will return me to my list of active employees in this TimeWorks Plus. And now I can continue by working with other employees or other tasks that may be needed in this timekeeping system today. This concludes our look at configuring a new employee setup in TimeWorks Plus. For other functions demonstrations, please check out our video library at CompletePayroll.com. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.